<laughs> oh, you're here now. Well, hello everyone. And happy Halloween. <laughs> This video comes out by Halloween. Anyways, welcome to once again an episodemic horror of Fears to Fathom. This is going to be episode 4. Now I don't know if you've been following this series, but I have been actually a big fan of Fears to Fathom. I've played both episode 1, 2, and 3 already. This is episode 4. It recently came out. And this episode is called Iron Bark Lookout. And... Since then I wanted to get this video done before Halloween, I'm gonna have to stop editing now. So that means you cannot zoom into my face! Thank you! So I'm gonna stop editing just so I can save up on time so I can get this video out in time. I'm hoping I could. So, I remember the first uh, first few episodes. Uh, I don't remember what the first one was called. The second one was Northwood Hitchhike. Um, actually, I think I could just see the episodes right here. Um, yeah, here it is. Episode 1 was Home Alone, second episode was Northwood Hitchhike, third episode was Carson House, and this episode, as of now, is the is the fourth entry, which is Iron Bark Lookout, which, judging by the way it looks, it looks like we're in the forest at a watchtower. So, yeah. We're diving into a watchtower position, so... I really don't want to waste your time, I really want to get played in this game. So let's dive in! Ow! Iron Bark Lookout, May 12th. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTube play Fears to Fathom Carson House. Eh? What I'm about to what I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre, absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing the story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. True. Classic horror trope. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. What happened? I want to know what happened back at Iron Bark Lookout, man. I want to know. And if I could get this thing in my mouth properly... <clears throat> I'm Jack Nielsen, had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of, de of dense forest managed by the Foresty Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. The, the RV was only sense of home I had at the time. So we have an RV, that's nice. This one time I was transferred from one of the outposts to another because of some official circumstances. Excuse me. It was a minor inconvenience to me though since I lived out out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about it was about a two hour drive. Oh, well that's not a long dry hour drive. I've been through five hour drives and I'm, then I'm going for seven. What? Okay, so here we are. Wow. 
look at this atmosphere. I mean, seriously. Um, oh, shoot. I don't, oh, I'm losing track of the road. Um, all right. I remember the messages that were a part of like the thing in this in this game. So, um, escape to read messages. All right. All right. So, I remember the messages were a part of this thing in this game. So, all right. What does it say? This is from Mitch Scott. Um, uh, let me go all the way up. Uh, I got to read this off. Congratulations on the transfer feeling. Ready for the change? Just research... Just reaching to you to tell you that you've been assigned to Tower 11. Welcome on board. This is Mitch, by the way, from Iron Bark. Thank you. Heard a lot about you from Josh. Me? I'm very excited to meet you soon. You got my ID today. Your shift starts at, tw at, at starts on the 12th. Sounds good. I'll be there. Anything I need to know? I have your papers. Just bring your ID. Josh told me the job is not news to you. Can I just ask you one question? Sure. Why did you pick this job initially? Not sure how to answer that. I just enjoy the thrill. Or the lack of it, I guess. I'm sorry, I just asked this question to everyone joining this line of work. Please join looking for a getaway or to discover who they are only to leave without notice. Guess they're better off in a cubicle. I guess. To be honest, with you, I joined the Iron Horse last year, not knowing, to ex not knowing what to expect, but the uh, solitary life has grown on me. For me, I can do the city life. There is where that this is where I belong, and I'm sure I'd adapt just fine to Iron Bark. Good. I hope you fare better than the last lady. The last lady. I'm getting mad feelings already. Where can I park my van? So you're arriving on Friday. Just park your truck around the back and gravel and bark gate by gate D. Got it. Oh my god, this is going on forever. I haven't even finished reading this guy. Alright, and from there you'll, you'll be on foot to take the Gold Creek Trail. From there it'll take you a couple of hours until you reach your tower. Okay, got it. Thanks. You'll probably see Billy at the gate. Just show him your ID okay and this is from Kayla Nielsen all right this is a new regano manager this new regano manager is a is such a jerk honestly sometimes I wish I had a job like you waking up with nature away from people and just getting paid to watch the wind go by wish my job was really that easy okay I'm honestly done with this job I'm pretty sure joining you next season <laughs> Like I said, you're always welcome here. Let me know if you need to talk to me. Talk to Josh. It's definitely the time for a change. Speaking of change, Iron Bark, they are staffing me to Iron Bark next month. That's one that the one after Roseburg. Yeah, heard they heard they got big staff cabins and less campers. Call me with dad, I'll call you back. How's it looking? Still on my van, deciding to pull a flat tire on me today out of all days. Isn't it late? If I don't starve to death before arriving, I'll be fine. Did you pass Rogueberg yet? No. Why? I don't know. Also, this song is really damn catchy. I hope this is not copyrighted, but I mean, the game did say all, so all soundtracks in this game is not copyrighted. I'm so sorry for this. I live very uh, solitary life. <laughs> I lived a very solitary life. All right. It helps me. It helps my mind. It helps quiet my mind. Keep the memories at bay. I'm sorry if I'm stuttering with the sentences. It's just that I'm trying to focus on driving at the same time. Sorry not to drive at the. <laughs> okay, I gotta calm down. Oh, I'm driving on the wrong side of the road, am I? <laughs> This is why I don't have my driver's license. Don't get mad at me, Leo. I've always loved the great outdoors. Well, you ain't judging, man. Look at the view. This is view. Just being surrounded by nature gives me happiness. I mean, to be honest, nature is beautiful, but from where I'm from, it's kind of dead here. And I'm driving, so I'll text you when I get to my destination, Kayla. Unless you want me to crash into a... Okay, I'm gonna kill myself one day if I actually get a license, guys. Oh boy, I hope I learn how to drive perfectly soon. But still, it actually does seem very nice out here, really. It's like open doors that... Why did my game lag there for a sec? Um, 
I saw the diner Kayla was talking about. Okay, that must be the diner. Um, I think I... Can I reverse? Yeah, I can reverse. I can reverse. So that's the diner. Okay, I think we gotta stop there. Um, we'll just, uh... Okay, we'll just stop right here. No problem. Uh, we probably parked wrong, but, um... Okay, so this is the RV. Nice. Um, this must be our restroom. Small little restroom. You know, I actually kind of always wanted to travel in an RV, guys. I mean, I mean, I know like what this guy's going through as of now, but still, it seems very nice to be in an RV, I guess. All right. So, okay, let me read my messages. I remember there, there is this diner passing while passing Roseburg. They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them out. I could really use to go for a good meal before the star Thanks, Kate. I am terrible with my grammar. I am just terrible, guys. Like I, I don't know. Like I, I guess I can only just focus on one thing at a time. So all right. So so we stopped at the diner before before I even read the message what Kate was trying to say. I'll just call her Kate. So, all right, they say they have the best burgers here. What do you think, good sir? Please leave me alone. I mean, I'm sorry. Um, hi there. Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Uh, good. How about you? Feel free to take any seat you like and I'll be right with you. All right, thank you. How are you, good sir? You look a little lost. I'm just passing through. So, where are you heading? Um, I guess, like, I mean, I'm an open book, guys. Like, sometimes I'm an open book. I mean, I don't open that much about my life, but I am willing to talk to other people. Starting my new job at a necessary state park. Ah, that, ah, that's great. I didn't know these jobs still existed. What do you do? I work at a finance. I'm a financial anal analyst for a big firm downtown. That sounds interesting. Yeah, it's challenging, but I enjoy it. It keeps me busy, that's for sure. That's impressive. Yeah, I guess so. I can be a bit of a roller coaster sometimes, but I don't hate what I do. I mean, I respect you, sir. I mean, I'm a bit of a roller coaster myself with my own life sometimes. I mean, I constantly don't even get that much sleep in life. I mean, I haven't slept in ages, guys. Long day of driving? Where are you heading? I'm heading up north to make a delivery. What about you? I'm a staffer at, at Ironbark State Park. So, is it true? Whatever they say happened to those kids the other day. What? I need to go. Um, okay. What about you, old geezer? Um, pretty long day at work. Um, how's the food? He just stared at me. Um, pretty long day at work. Okay, I'm not gonna sit right next to that guy if he's just staring at me. Um, I guess I'll just, uh, sit right here. Good evening, madam. Good evening, I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Uh, sure. So what will it be? Cheeseburger with fries? Grilled cheese sandwich with onion rings? Ooh! Meatball sub with chicken nuggets? I'm kind of craving a bit of onion rings right about now. Would you like anything to drink? Um... Large Coke would be fine. Perfect. Anything else. That will be all. That will be all. Thank you. Great. I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything. Sounds good, appreciate it. Thank you, ma'am. Barbara. I always had a habit of peeing before you. What is it with the people having to pee in, the, in these games? I mean, no, I mean, I've, been, I've played the previous chapters. There's literally someone having to go to the restroom, and there's a restroom right here. Alright, let's sit down. And let's just wait for our meal. Oh, about time. Um, 
Thank you, madam. I, can I at least say thank you? No! Or you just drop it straight on my face. Um, okay, um... So, we have a grilled cheese and some onion rings. Delish. I'll eat the onion rings first. Consuming. You know, now that this game is making me eat, I actually am getting pretty hungry. I figured it'd be a while before I had a meal like this again. And let's have my cheese sandwich. Consume it. I'll talk with you later, Kayla. I don't know why I call her Kate. Alright. So, did you end up going? How was it? I'm, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else or should I get the check? Check, please. Okay, I'll be right back. Thanks. Um, the fact that he just texts me right in front of me. Um, as I was saying, how was it? I'm here. I'm still eating, but it was good. I told you. <laughs> this food reminds me. You should send me the casserole recipe you were... Can I finish reading? You were talking about. I think... I think get a chance... Can I finish reading people's notes again? Please! So, Alright, so the total is six. Um, pay six, pay six with a 50% tip. Well, I'm a nice guy. I guess I'll do a 15% tip. Hope you enjoyed the, f the rest of the food. Enjoy your ride. Thanks. Alright. Um, let's see. Um, as I was saying, you, you should send me the casserole recipe you were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in art in Hussein in the new lookout. Wow, yes, I'm on my way home. I'll send you in a bit. Okay, thanks, casserole. Alright. Well, good evening. Goodbye, everyone, and please leave me alone. Okay, yeah, I'll just leave the old man alone. Probably going through a bit. Alright, let's get inside and... Did I leave this open? I mean, this is a vehicle. I wouldn't leave a door open. Not unless there's someone inside. Aw, oh, throw that back. The bathroom door was strangely jammed. Is there someone in here? bathroom door was strangely jammed. I was able to get in here earlier. Why can't I not get in here now? Okay, now I'm worried. Um... Please, don't let anyone try killing me. I wanna talk, but I really can't I wasn't very proud of my driving. Trust me, I, I mean, I'm worried now when I get a license, guys. I'd be like Spongebob, like, you know, I probably, you know, probably won't be able to drive. <laughs> so, okay. I am kind of worried, because why is my bathroom door locked, and why was my bathroom open, and it's 8.02 p.m. Okay, we're still going. It's late at night now. So we must be heading to the place now. I want to include the location of this park, uh, but I don't want anyone seeking out the other, the other horrors I've seen in these woods. True. Um, I guess this is the place. I drove past the trail first. Am I supposed to head back? Really, nigga? Okay, I guess I should just, you know, follow the rules a bit. I mean, there's no checkpoints where I'm supposed to be going. Alright. So I guess I'm supposed to meet someone here, I guess. Let's lock this door. So, okay, I'm supposed to be meeting someone over here. Welcome to the Iron Bark Lookout. This, this must be the station where I'm supposed to be at. 
Alright, can I go in here? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. What? what? You scared me, and one of who, actually? May the Lord have mercy. Okay, I'm already getting bad signs. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? You're Billy, right? I'm the new transferred... Is that correct? I don't know... There was someone right back there. You, you guys even say that! Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Uh, yeah. Hang on, let me check on that. Did you not see the creepy guy who was just walking back there? I clearly saw someone behind that mirror, behind that window. Hello? Okay, can I go back here? Oh crap, dude man, you're scaring me. Okay pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. Okay, I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for this season, but here are your keys. Take keys. Okay, let me open the trail gate for you. Thank you, creepy guy. Partner I might be working with. Thanks. Are we not going to talk about that guy I just saw outside your window, man? No? Okay, we're just going to assume it's just some random hillbilly passing by. <laughs> Alright, let's get in my car. Oh my... Okay, I don't like the sound. It sounds like footsteps. And they're gradually getting close. Okay, no, it's just him. Dude, why are you walking up towards me like a, like a suspenseful shadowy figure, man? You're scaring me. Why are you following me? Dude, what is your problem, man? You're scaring me. Please don't kill me. This guy's just following me. Are you gonna follow me into my vehicle? There's no way this guy gonna follow me into my own vehicle, right? Hi, how are you? <laughs> of your system just so we know you're clocked in safely if you need anything you can be reached i cannot focus guys he's literally on the ground and faced with my own vehicle it's scary if need be you can reach out of tower 12 there and you're staffing nice enough guy he'll be closest to contact in case of emergency thank you billy um billy you do know you're facing in my um, car, right? Are we just gonna ignore that you're that you're physically in my home? Well, um, make yourself comfy if you plan to stay in here. What? Hey. What? Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Right, bobcats and bears, and red the man standing in my old home, just halfway across the ground. Nasty business. Yeah, I got it. What the fuck? I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead inside. Yeah, no shit, he does look dead inside. I don't even know if I even read that right. Um, uh, um, Billy, that's what his name is. Watch over my vehicle. She ain't a good one, but she'll have to do. Alright, so I get to go on foot over here. Okay, very dense woods. I left my bag at- Oh, come on! Uh -huh. Alright, I guess we're on our way back. <sighs> so we have our bag, I almost forgot it. Um, how far was our, you know, tower from here? Mm. We just 
fade into black. Oh. Oh, okay, um, 11.32 p.m. Okay, we're still here, um. I thought my game just broke there for a sec, um. We're still walking, and wow, look at this forest here, and, um. There's some old ass RV, okay, um. Um, wait, which way am I heading? Why am I out in the forest? Heading this way, or oh, I think I'm supposed to be heading this way. Um, Tower 11. Okay, it's across this bridge, across the river. What a sight! What a sight, guys. Okay, we're heading towards Tower 11. So we got the new job. We got some creepy ass staff who could literally go through my own car. Who could literally defy the laws of physics? Um, Tower 11 is that way. Lace trail goes right over here. I know it's behind towards the tower, but I'm curious. It's over here. Oh, that's the bears they were talking about. I know. I, I'm dumb. I'm gonna get myself killed here, guys. Watch, I die from a bear for real. I. Oh, I, I cannot go this way. Well, okay, my bad. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think the game's even gonna let me. Okay, I thought I could literally just die here. But why? I was just testing it. I was just testing if what they said was true. But I don't think what he was saying was true because I could not die from a freaking bear at all. I'm weird. Okay. Alright, imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. True, and here's the um, restroom. The door was open. Okay. I mean, of course that's going to be open. Alright, so this must be Tower 11. This must be where our job is. I ascended the stairs onto the top of the tower. Nice. Once you're at the top of the tower, your job is to look out for fires or anything out of the usual. I guess. So, this must be the place. Cabin was filled with aroma wood, giving me a sense of comfort. I mean, true. Let's close it. I'm gonna, um... Nice place, I guess. I'm gonna throw my uh, bag over here. Um, I'm pretty sure this place is supposed to be ready to. Oh wait, I, I know how I know how watch towers work. I believe there's like a generator downstairs, if I'm correct. Um, oh, oh, okay, that's cool. But I don't want to keep them shut because it's late at night now. If I'm correct, there's normally like a generator. For like these type of situations. Let's see. Generator, generator, generator. Um, gas can. Okay. I know how this normally works, guys, because I've actually read into it. Um, I'm not meaning to do that. Um, is it this? I know how these jobs work, guys. Like, I mean, I've not, I mean, I've known I never worked in one, but I've researched. Okay. There we go. We got the generator up and going. Um, let's see. Okay, this place is now light lit up now. So, okay, let's see. Let's throw this back here. Alright, let's get going. Okay, our tower's on. Okay, let's see what it's like from the inside. Tower. the light switch okay there we go there we go Ooh, nice and cozy okay there's a laptop radio equipment was sitting on a wooden table um, okay um, initializing AZZ okay it's one of these old computers um, rainbow 98 oh, yeah. Um, okay, I don't think I can log into that yet. So, okay, this must be our place. I can. Okay, great to throw that away, but I mean, I think I might just throw it, throw it right here. There we go. Um, I 
Okay, I guess that's our only objective. I'll let me to sleep. I had to report for tonight. Um... Static, um... Um, it's just static, okay? This place seems very cozy. I can get used to this. Um, what's this? Okay, um, that's just the light matches. I guess for like, you know, comfort and warmth. Whenever it's like cold at night. Very nice. A simple microwave, a oven, some dishes, some cooking setup. This might be very nice. Okay, so we got, I think we gotta find like some kind of path. Wait. System password is Iron Bar Tower. Oh, okay, finally! What took it so long, man? Jesus. Okay, so that took me a while. I was about to almost give up here. I'm not sure if you it all. Hello there, it's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant here to help you make the most of your computer today. Um, thanks. Clicky click, here's a random fact for you. Mount Everest, the world's tallest mountain, continues to grow every quarter of an inch. Of an inch, 0 0.6 centimeters taller each year due to tectonic plate movements. Use a random fact. Uh, okay, yeah, nice to know. Thank you. Thank you! I am tired! <laughs> Employee training. Alright, uh, what's this? Welcome to Iron Bark State Park. Oh, okay. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say congratulations. You have been commissioned by the Iron Bark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Established uh, in 1897, we have been known as one of the safest parks in America. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You have been selected as one of our Fire Lookout Observers. This is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Keep watch for fire. Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time. So also keep watch for smoke. Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. Keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society require us to note all changes in temperature. We think it's best not we to get into losses. a lawsuit. <laughs> Keep records of daily wind speed. Okay. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. True. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. Alright. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. Okay. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. So don't oh. be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. Okay. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. The campers might start a campfire which could oh. lead to a wildfire. They will yeah. not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Yeah, Make sure to know that. whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. 911, all right. I'll make sure Keep of that. Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. Okay. We hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. Oh, I recognize that voice. 
Um, okay. So, um, Iron Bark Trail Map. I guess we should. This is Iron Bark State Park Trail Map. Whether you, you're planning a hike, assisting hikers, or just want to explore the park beauty from comfort of your screen, I'm here. Help. Alright. I'm tired of your random facts, man. You're not helping. <laughs> Alright, so that's that. So we got onto the computer here. I guess, can I... I had to report for tonight. Um, okay. Hmm. 17 knots. What? Uh, what? Um, hello? Static? Oh, okay. What is it again? Uh, I'm, I'm Jack. Lighter, huh? I gotta say, it's refreshing to see Tower 11 alive again. Huh, who is this? I'm Connor, Fire Tower 12. Alright, alright, you were watching. Job. We've had to cover your area until you arrived. Alright. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Just looking for a change, man. I'm a transfer from Iron Experienced Horse. comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. Hmm. I'm really fire tired. Going? Uh, Get her lit. No. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm, shiver. Got it, thanks. I don't see the smoke. Did you light it up yet? Um, hold up. The wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit. Alright, alright, alright. Um... Wood, um, okay, I think I know where the wood is. I think I saw it, um, somewhere outside. So, okay, that's where he's from, all right. Um. <coughs> no firewood. There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. The stamper was in the lookout before you. She was one gritty woman. Hmm. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline okay. must be in your cabin, but if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. Alright. Gasoline should be in my place. Um. um. I say that looks right, I mean, I guess. I don't think I'm doing this right. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm not a professional at this. I mean, maybe in real life I would be, but like in a game, it feels like, I don't know, if there's like a certain way I'm supposed to do it. You did say to head to my shack, though. Maybe there's wood in my shack? I, okay, yeah, there's firewood, there's firewood. Alright. Let's take this back with me. there now I just need to light it um yeah like that let's set the whole place ablaze let's get um um there we go um gee. um ah I see it I see the smoke nice to see you report uh okay I'm sorry I skipped um Okay, I'm sorry I'm skipping your dialogue, man. Um, excuse me, um, I'm sorry. Did you report for the night yet? Uh, no. You better get to it, then. Here at Iron Bar, you are required to report every night before signing off. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. No. The wind speed was 17, right? Cloud, um, it is, looks pretty clear tonight. Number of hikers assisted, zero. Wind speed, 
temperature. Um, okay, let me check. What's the temperature out? How do I check the temperature? Um, temperature is 44.1. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, temperature is 44.1. <laughs> Number of high is zero, so it's 17, and then reported by. Um, okay, um. You copy, new guy? Yeah, alright. Tower 11, copy. I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. All Tower right. 12, signing off. You have a good night, new guy. Don't you want too. Bed, bye. Uh, good night. Yeah, Connor, talk to you tomorrow. Alright, so that was a rough start. That took me like 20 minutes to figure this crap out. Um. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I am slow, slow at thinking sometimes when it comes to situations like this in a game. 3.26 a.m. Um, why would we be up this late? Um, okay, I think this is where the horror stuff begun. Unintelligible. Intelligible. Um, hello? Hello? Connor? Connor? I had to pee. At this time of hour, man? Um, okay, you're lucky, it's... On my first night of camp, it was giving me a strange feeling. I mean, I don't blame you, I am getting a bit of a strange feeling, um... Wait, we can just... Um... Okay, um... I mean, I hope I, I hope this doesn't land on anyone, I mean... Okay, I was done with it. Uh. Did you all see that? Okay, I'm gonna get back inside before anything weird happens. Lock up, please. Connor? Okay, he's asleep. I guess I just go back to bed. You all saw that. There was like a flashlight. Okay. So, night two. Oh, great. Don't tell me this is like Five Nights at Freddy's now. Um, It's just you and the wind, and time just melts away. Um, drinking down some cup of joe. Okay. Well, L and B to take a photo. I guess we'll take a bit of a photo. Look at that view. This is a view for everyone. Let me get a good angle. Try taking a selfie, that might work. So, um space to get off. Okay, I was just figuring I just have to finish my coffee. Um, you can go. Threw it off the tap. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just threw my coffee over the tower. Yes, yes. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Copy that, Connor. What's up? What? Nobody bothers to get a Huh? Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Let me have a look. Okay, so there's a smoke thing going on. Um, I believe I had some binoculars. Um, okay, here they are. Oh yeah, I see it, I see it, I see it. Okay. Smoke was white. Okay, so I have a eye on the smoke. Okay, yeah, I have a smoke. Yeah, I have a, I have a visual, I have a visual, I have a visual. Yeah, I see it. Huh. Weird. Hmm. Um, is it safe? Alright, okay, heading north, I'll report back on it. Stay safe out there. Okay, thanks. Alright. Alright, over and out. 
Okay, so there's some smoke going on. Um, I'm gonna get a flashlight and I'm just gonna throw one of these things away. Um, I should probably just throw this in the desk so I don't forget it's like right here. I also get my bear spray, um, which is this. All right, I'm gonna just take a flashlight and that. All right, let's go have a look. Okay, so the smoke is coming from this way, where I think that bear sign was. Yeah, I see it. It's coming from this side of the, you know, place. Okay, so we're not supposed to be going here. So I guess you might encounter a bear. I'll have a bear spray with me. It's like Batman shark repellent from, yeah, we don't talk about that. 8.37 p.m. Okay, so it was a good thing I brought my flashlight with me. It's probably dark as hell. I didn't hear that. I heard a scream. Okay. Take a step slow at a time. Okay, I think we found that fire. Um, I'll talk to you later, Kayla. Um Who's there? Anybody there? The area was beyond that site was closed. I don't like the sound of this. I had to put it out. But how? Do they have anything I can use? Anything in here? No, it's just a crappy tent. What, I cannot grab it now? No, you freaking- Um... I just dropped my own, one of my best two items in there. Um... I had to go get- Um, is this water? Okay, I guess we just put this out. Okay, that's dying down. What about my stuff? Can I grab that back? Yes, I can grab this back and I can grab this back. Okay, I couldn't grab it. I thought I lost it forever now. Okay, I guess we um, just head out of here. I do not like this. I do not like the sound of this place. I am getting suspicious. I heard some guy whistling over there. Okay, I was hearing footsteps. 9.07 p.m. Okay. As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't share the sense of that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might 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 have happened. Um. Um. Oh, okay, my game reloaded. Okay, I don't know why I keep on getting those glitch, thing, glitch things with my game saying it's not responding. Which is kind of worrying me, but um, other than that, I guess we, you know, we just move on. Found any problems? Uh, let's respond back to Connor back up there. Connor, John Connor, you here, buddy? Um, I got that smoke. Uh, I, I didn't mean to answer the computer. I meant to talk to you, John. Connor, do you copy? Hey, well, Connor, do you? Guy. I was just cooking myself some hot. Well, first, what's your status? Are you Talk kidding me? What? Son of a bitch. They what? never learn, do they? What I'm do you mean? sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this happened a lot? This is the third time this month alone. Anything else Jeez. you notice in those woods? A scream. Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. It was a man I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. 
kids went missing in this area? About a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. What does that have to do with the campers? Well, people have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes... Hmm. Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11. Urgently. That's unsettling. I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do you? Oh, absolutely. Uh, right. no. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. I gotta contact okay. the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. Okay. I can't tolerate these goons anymore. Alright. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Keep me updated. Will do. Over and out. Alright. Weird. So, okay, I did hear someone screaming out there. And it sounded like a manly scream. And two, um, I'm gonna close these things. I don't like these things being open for someone just to look into my window and my personal space. But other than that, yeah, I heard screaming. It was not a pleasant screaming. I also heard whistling, too. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, I forgot about you. I forgot the phones were a thing in this game. Um, hope you'll be arriving. Got it. You'll probably just see Billy at the game. Show him his ID. Um, okay. Ah. Okay, okay. Wow, yes, a bit. Sorry, just got home. Okay, so that's pizza, pasta, bake. Okay, you will not believe how easy this one is to throw together. Did you reach yet? Send me pics when you do. Jack, are you okay? Hope everything is okay. Reply back when you see this. I'm sorry, Kay. I don't think my sector has very good service. View from my tower. And thanks for the recipe. I'll try to make it tonight. I'm so jelly of that view. By the way, look what I got got home to. Ooh! Pizza pasta baking and mom made the made the same casserole recipe today. Nom nom. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. That's cool. Um, I think I should also check my um service reporting. Yeah, I remember. I have to recheck my service, alright? Alright, so let me just get check the weather and everything. Also, why are these still up? Um, let's see. Temperature was 50.1. 50.1. And this... Same one spot. 50.1 and 21. 50.1 and 21. 50.1 and 21. 50.1. I don't know. I constantly have to remind myself when doing things. Hikers assisted. Zero. 21. 50.1. Wind speed, I believe, would be cloudy. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't care, Smiley. Um. All right. So, I guess that's the weather checked. Um. I was too hungry to go to bed. Oh, okay. I guess we gotta make like the um. All right. So, ingredients: uncooked pasta. Do we have that in here? Um, we got a tray. At this point, I was starving. Um, let's see. Do we have, okay, we got some pasta. What the fuck? Pasta. Alright. I wasn't sure. Um. How the fuck do I make this? <laughs> um. Oh, okay, um, I wasn't sure when. Okay, so hold up, let me read the thing. Uncooked pasta, pepperoni. So, okay, we 
gotta find more recipes and stuff. Actually, it's weird using the keyboard again, guys. It's really just been a while since I last used the keyboard. Is it this? Oh. Uh, that wasn't supposed to happen, right? I'm um, hoping that wasn't it. I hope that I ain't throw one of the items through the freaking ground. I'm just constantly throwing my own food across the place. Mozzarella. Alright, alright. Do I put this in here too? Okay, no I do not. I'm just constantly throwing my all my paint away by this point. I am constantly just throwing this all over the place. These are eggs. <laughs> I am so bad at this. Like, I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I would never be like this in real life, but like, since this is a game and all, this is probably gonna have to be the best thing I have to work with. Wait. Marinara. That, of course, I do need. That's ham. Baked beans. Milk. Oh, okay, there we go, there we go. Oh, that was so hard, was it? Except for that, uh, mess, uh, my currently made, um... Eh, I'll live with it. You guys, you there? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I copy, I copy, I copy. Connor? Just reported their ass to the authorities. What did they Don't say? Worry. The Forest Service Agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. Okay, that's they really easy. Them down and get the of mind. Yeah. So you what? I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Okay. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Alright, thank you, Connor. Go over 12, signing off. Over and out. Good night, Connor. Well. I like eating in bed. Pretty sure we all do. Just look at this place. What a dream. What a dream. The only thing that would make it better is if there was like a TV right there, I guess. <laughs> Maybe a bit. Other than that, it's quite a cozy place. Reminds me of Gardner State Park when I went there. Yeah, sure. The, yeah, the reason why I mentioned Gardner is because there was no TV there. So I literally lived off of a tablet. I was already full. Well, uh, I guess you get full easily. Um, I could have kept it in the refrigerator. <laughs> I mean, I mean, we could try. We could try. Perfect. Okay, finally we got it. Alright. What a place we've been staying at, guys. Seriously. What a dream. Let's head to bed. 2.27 a.m. Um, I woke up by some strange...
Call Connor. Connor. Connor to sector. Sector to Connor. Sector to Connor. Connor, do you copy? I need you to talk. It's urgent. Hello? Do you have any idea what time it is? Something outside my door. I just couldn't wait until morning. Tell you what, new guy. It's probably best to ignore these kids messing around. I suspect that little Harley got tired of them. I don't think these are kids messing around. These kids can be pretty creative with these pranks. We've watched too many horror movies. Maybe they thought it would be funny. This is serious, dude. Let's not get carried away, new guy. We're in the middle of nowhere. Alright, here's what we'll do. I'll send someone to check in on you tomorrow. Okay. For now, just lock your door and take a deep breath. You should try to get some rest. We can't do much in the dark. Okay. It'll be morning before you know it. Alright. Try to get some sleep, Jack. That is if we could make it to morning. Good night, Connor. Connor didn't make any sense. Is he behind this? Is he? I swear to God, if Connor's the bad guy... Well, rest in peace. Night three. Let me guess, there's going to be five nights in total. Next day I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it's a harmless prank by some kids, but there's something about that night that just felt darker. There is something strange happening in those woods. 8.34 p.m. How come we never get to see like the morning or like, you know, other types of days? And it is windy. Look at this. Um... Oh, um, okay, we, we can clean our lens. I was wondering, like, why are the lens so damn dirty? Disgusting! Clean our freaking lens. Come on. Why are they so filthy? Come on. Uh, there's some weird thing at the end of that, you know. Taking a look over here. Um, let's head back inside and let's do our uh, daily. Hello? Jesus Christ! Is anyone there? Yes! Uh, I need help! Um, Please, someone answer! This is not Connor. This does not sound like Connor. Um, hello? I didn't feel comfortable facing my back door to be. Okay, yeah, I guess that is true. Um, okay, let me get on the chair. Hello? Can anyone hear me? This is Jack, Tower 11. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost, and I'm I'm really starting to freak out. What's going I, on? I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. Um, and, and now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. Um, okay. I think, I think I'm lost. Can you describe your location? Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. Is that what that thing was near? All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Can you describe your I'm surrounded by trees, and I remember passing a small stream earlier. What directions are you facing? Right I'm walking towards west right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. Okay. Oh, thank goodness, I see it. I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Um, get back to you. Um, I believe you have like a map. Um, map. Um, Iron Bar. Okay, so he's. Iron Bar still trailhead. I don't care, man. I'm gonna say go left. I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I. Ha! I knew it! I thought it looked familiar! 
Okay. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. Thanks for helping me through this. Hope you can make your way back safely. I'm right here! What? I hear you! What? I hear your whistles. I'm in the tower right what? now. What? I see you behind the trees to my right. That's not me. You're freaking me out. I got a can of bees and I'm not afraid to use it. Holy moly, what took you so long? Um, it's just um you. Um, I forgot what your name was, Billy. I've been knocking for hours. I asked to check in on you. What were you up to, pal? I was assisting a lost hiker. At this hour, may Lord have mercy. Dude, what is with that saying? Is that like your calling card or what? Anyways, got your tower supplies right here. Just the unusual essentials. Here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. Thanks, man. I think you let me let someone get killed right about now. Um, what were you? What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north? Why were you there? Um, I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate on a campfire smoke. Oh lord have mercy. Can you, can you not man? Nasty business up there pal. Bobcats and bears. You be careful at, out there pal. These woods aren't normal and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Thanks man. Not to mention you'd be quite distant from help if anything happened. Yeah, not to mention that you phased right through my car here. I've got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely, it's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been a, a bit busy, a bit on the edge of everything, all right? Uh, uh, oh, okay, that actually, uh, as I was saying. Uh, yeah, I mentioned that demon skull. Oh, Lord have mercy. Can you yeah! not? Take a photo of it before cleaning up. I didn't think about it. You know, it's best we dwell on these. Besides, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch. Thanks for the supplies. Um. I'll just uh put it right here. Okay. So I never actually even check what is this? Like, looks like you're ready to take on some zombies and have a blast. Good luck and aim for the head. What? What the hell? Ah fuck! What the hell is this? Okay, this is cool. What the heck? Is this like Call of Duty Zombies? Okay, this is cool. Ah, shit. Okay, this is like Call of Duty Zombies. Okay, this is cool. Shoot. Okay, I haven't played Call of Duty Zombies in ages, guys, so I'm not, I probably might never be the best at this. Did they played it on Xbox? Okay, okay, this is cool. I don't know why, but this seems more fun than the actual game right about now. Shit.
a terrible shot. Ah! Come on, hold still. Down here, down here. Why am I such a terrible shot? Come on, man! I'm just about to die just because of this dude. Finally, I got him. Ah, oh, freak, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm dead. Hey, it was fine. I'm, oh yeah, I forgot about my uh, daily chores. Um, 56.1 and um, it did look pretty windy today. 56.1 and the wind is 24. Don't lock myself out of my own cabin. Alright, so 56 daily report. Temperature Aww. is uh, 56. Uh, I meant my. Today's temperature is 56.1, which it is 24, and looks very cloudy, a little bit windy. Wind, I guess assisted. There was one. Something didn't look right. Oh yeah, I think it's this. Bruh. 56.1. There we go. Okay, so there's my daily chores. Alright. Alright, I guess that's that. Alright, let's see. Also, I didn't know it was in this package at first, so I don't know if I could open this. I guess I'll just leave it. Do I just go to speak? I was too hungry to go to bed without food. Well, what do we make now? There's, is there still the leftover lasagna? Oh, it's... Or did we already eat it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, there it is. I guess we just heat it up. What up? game this has been so far i mean i don't know how long this chapter actually is it feels longer than the last episode which i currently played around a few months ago i don't know how long it was ago but it was somewhere around that time but um other than that this adventure has been pretty interesting let's eat in bed and let's eat the remaining lasagna or casserole as they like to call it Other than that, okay, this game is being very suspenseful. I really like the direction it's going for. And that's that. That's the entire casserole. Now let's start with the date for the dairy dishes. And also, let's close up these, you know, these things. I don't like them open either. it was getting cold I should ah oh, come on man really already I mean to be honest guys I really do like sleeping in cold I don't know why for some reason I just do I always have like a fan hitting my face every time I sleep All right. <laughs> ah! oh! what the hell you just gave me a heart attack I understand loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. Um, who are you? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over here. Thought I might say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about. Um, do you usually work this late? Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. 
We must ensure that the right messages reach the right places, wouldn't you agree? Ah, uh, right. We really information on the uh, about fire sightings. Absolutely. But some fires are meant to burn, and no amount of prevention can stop them. What do you mean? Nature has its own plans for things and can be controlled no matter how hard we, we try. And sometimes this, this disasters are just another form of cleansing, a way for the land to purify itself. Um, I'll see you around. Um, I should get back to the tower now. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well. But remember, curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. Um, goodbye. Um, this guy gave me the creepiest vibes. No shit. And look. You're not even taking the path! You're just walking into the forest like at the dead of night. Okay. This guy's giving me flat giving me giving making my head think now. Remember that guy we saw at the beginning of the game? The one we saw walking past the window? I I, I think that's him. I do not like the sound of this man. Okay, let's just light our places and yeah. Okay, okay. Let's just put this in. Get the gasoline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Connor, Connor, Connor. You copy now. Right here. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where uh, have you been? Yeah, I ran into some random. Ran into who? The guy maintaining the radio tower. What? Is this about yesterday? What do you I'm mean? Trying to yank my chain now. What do you the mean? The radio tower's been out of service for eight days now. Oh crud! Ah. Uh, repair date was postponed. He's until not day. from here, is he? No time soon, according to Mitch. Then who did Look, I just talk to? If what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. He knew my he knew name. Your name. You think he's been listening? I'm not sure. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Good night, Connor. Tower 12, signing off. Excellent, good night, over and out. Okay, now that's scary. He's not from here. Eesh. I mean, is he gonna stay like this at some certain time? My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed to get used that I needed to get used to. The strangers I'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later. Eesh. Five nights. Shut up. Okay, 9:18 p.m. Um okay. Okay, now hey, it's guy. raining. You got a minute? Uh sure. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. What is they it? They wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers, I guess. How do I update the computer? Well, to be honest with you, all this new technology is not really my thing. Tell me about it. Dare I say it. These computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. True. Anyways, for now, use the console to run the new system update. Uh, I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. On it. Mm. Welcome to Iron Bark I State Park. Sorry, man. Um, package. Package 
zero eight Um, please enter the valid. Okay. Three, four, six, zero, eighty, four. Package line, service line, uh. Hmm. Five, four, eighty-seven. Uh, oh, oh, wait. I, okay, I was just. Okay, I'm surprised I just guessed that. Um. Ready, weird digit. Um. Why did the power just go out? My power just went out. Um, where is my flashlight? Okay, where is my flashlight? Okay, I guess I have to go out here in the rain. Which is very dangerous even if it's hard. Generator out of gas. Okay, I thought someone busted it up. I drenched in the rain. Yeah. Get this. Okay, we're gonna fill her up. Fill up the generator. Fill her up, fill her up, fill her up, fill her up. Okay, everything's working now. Do you mind if I just throw this in here? Just so I don't have to go back in that cabin for that creepy guy me. I should really just head back up. I really have to pee before going. Are you kidding oh me, man? God, okay, I'm gonna close the door so make sure no one. You gotta be One week later. Okay, so it's been one week since that, um... Time was flying by. Con Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his, cover his area for the past two days. When there was no fires going, the only thing i do is check on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I, I ever talked, unless I was talking to myself. I mean, I don't blame you. I mean, I constantly talk to myself for a lot. Oh, okay. I know it's late, but you're gonna wanna see this one, Jack. Alright. What Jack, is it? Yeah. I need you to wake up. I'm coming! I'm just let me get up, man. It's like early in the morning, man. I would be exhausted too. What is it? What do you mean? Jack, want? you copy. Right here, Connor. Let me tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. What I'm happened? here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. I'm right. seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. Okay. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? Alright. I'll check it out, Connor. Um, let me just get a compass and a flashlight. Um, well, actually, where are my binoculars? Okay, I guess I can only carry one. Okay, let me just... You know what? What? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. I'm gonna let you deal with this one. Right. They don't run away this time. Take your photos and IDs. All right. If things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. Okay. Update me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. Okay. Okay, Connor. Um, Mr. John Connor. It's probably not that bad. All right. Let me check. Um. Okay. Okay. Scrolling the zoom. That made sense at the time was to take evidence of it. Are they freaking burning people? What 
the hell? Space pig photo. Uh oh. Okay. Make a run, make a run, make a run, make a run, make a run! You'll fight behind me, just run, just run! Huh? Just run! Just run! <laughs> Somehow we're slow as hell! We just need to run. We just need to make it out of here. Come on, come on. We're almost out. We're almost free. We just need to make it to our army. Shit! Run! Come on, come on! Step on it! Step on it! As the adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in into alert to, to alert the HQ. I am sorry if I'm stuttering really bad. It's because it what the adrenaline of the situation. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir crazy out there. Mitch answered. They don't believe me. Did you not experience the shit I just saw? Next morning, the authorities uh, allegri allegedly 
ran a small investigation out of the area, but of course they met with no signs of misconduct. Screw them! They're just doing a bad job, man. No one believed my story, dismissing it, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just sick to just look. Just sick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set my foot in those woods. Thank goodness. Screw that place, man. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though my pa even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. Yeesh. My family thought I was making the whole thing up, which is really out of character. But I know what I saw. And we all know what we saw, right guys? Real or not, after dark these woods can be become yeah, can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Mm. And what did we learn guys? Never get a job in a watchtower. Survivor, congratulations. So yeah. We made it out of there alive, thank God. Oh god, I felt the adrenaline of the situation and to be honest, this is like the second this is like day two, so I didn't get to finish the video last night, so literally I'm finishing it right now. Cause the game kind of broke down and then you know I had to go to bed apparently. But other than that, jeez, what an episode. Pretty long, but very good tension to it. I enjoyed it. Good story, and I don't know what the thing was with the cult going on out there in the woods, but it actually was pretty damn scary. And was pretty fun. But the thing is, we're alive. And I probably have a lot of video to go through at it. And that is it. That was an episodic horror of Fears to Fathom Iron Bark Lookout. So, what a fun experience and what a two hour long experience. Jesus, I have a lot to go through. So, for this video, I'm going to try to cut back on the edits because um, I probably want to get this done around Halloween. And I don't want to go a bit too crazy of stuff. And plus, I am a bit busy. So... This was actually a really good episode. A bit more longer than the, you know, than the last one. I can tell each episode, it gradually gets longer and longer and longer. Now I'm wondering how long episode 5 is going to be like. I bet you 3 hours. Yeah. I bet you all guys that's going to be how long it's going to be. But we'll have to see till then. After all that, this was Fears to Fathom. Episode 4, Iron Bark Lookout. So I really guys hope you enjoyed it. And make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And hey, make sure to have a happy hollow and have a happy, enjoyable Halloween. <laughs>